All right, well, here goes nothing, folks. It was a rainy day in Crute. Or Crute, who knows. One of the only handful on the island experienced per year. A sound of falling drops in the alliance of nation's dome made for an unexceptionally, unexpectedly smoothing backdrop to what I could tell was going to be a tense session. I sat with Lorento and the rest of the Brazilian delegation in the half-full assembly hall. Today's session was to focus on South Macropa only. Looking around the room, I could see representatives and leaders from Waylon, Morella, Deridia, and Lesbia. I should have probably made friends with them if I had loosened up on my relations. Maybe I could have gotten this easier. I think that's going to go poorly for me. Duke Axel Reinhardt, British Hugh Avalor, entered late, deep in conversation, nodded to each other, and took seats with their respective delegations. Those two lovebirds. I clearly plan to put up an iron in front. It'll be hard to argue against them. Are you well, your majesty? Your father always had a case of nervous before these sessions. I'm not surprised. One more royal duty that he couldn't handle. Procassia and United Kutana were here today. I'd be nervous. All these other small, smaller potatoes. I'm fine. Appreciate your concern. I'm nervous about the arbitration case. We have a lot riding on that. This could make or break the run here. Turn our attention to the front of the room and the President Nines. Inez, presumably. Called the meeting to order. So the special sessions, the opening remarks were kept short. Before I knew it, it was time for the individual leaders of South Papua to represent their speeches. Prime Minister Alma Sultana rolled up his throat up to the podium. She had it to lower the microphone to reach it. Big trouble in a small package. Let's see what she has to say before passing judgment. The Merlin leader greeted the assembly. Her voice had a melodic lift to it that I associated with the Kenai. And now, Mr. President, esteemed leaders, and distinguished guests, it is my honor to speak in these hallowed halls for the first time. I come for you before you as a representative of the Morella, a function committed to breaking free the shackles of a repressive past, a function that is now aligned with the A.N. values of justice, solidarity, and human dignity, and one that is proud to build bridges with those who share our vision of a more equal society. She nodded towards the upper seats of an assembly room, and I looked behind me to see Valgadzian Chancellor Emmerich Hegel applauding furiously. <laughs> Ah, more than one in the same room is bound to cause trouble. I thought she was a South Mokopa session. We invited him. I knew today was exciting, but this is on another level. Since the Hegel isn't on today's program, but I wouldn't rule out it in a prop to speech. At the time of transition from Morella, but as we refined our principles and partnerships, one fact became abundantly clear. We can no longer abide by the senseless exploitation of our land, people, and resources. Aha, I knew this would be the international trade zone. She hasn't taken her eye off the topic since her election. For too long, the so-called partners in the Mephitium International Trade Zone have dug the ground up front under us. We allow them to ravage our soil and abuse our workers while reaping more than our fair, fair share of the profits. In a sense, you force to guard their gold, yet leave the rest of Morella to the mercy of Deridian terrorists. Meanwhile, the shocking lack of mining regulations in countries such as Rizia show they are no longer as careless at home than abroad. I knew I shouldn't have given in to Rusty. Not our fault that Morella and Sully was prone to cave-ins. Why is she naming us? What are the corruption and lesbian industries? Well, those international profile isn't large enough to go after a country of lesbian Thatcher, yet. One well, of the cause on the United and the Alliance of Nations to recognize our human rights struggle, and to accept that if Mephitian ITCs continue, any wealth it generates must be reinvested in the Morellian people. Bravo, Madam Prime Minister. Chairman Chancellor Hegel was standing now, the other AM guests turned their heads in this direction. As fellow stewards of the International Trade Zone ban, I'm going to get absolutely just pummeled on this, <laughs> at this thing. Um, as fellow stewards of the International Trade Zone and fellow soldiers in the fight against imperialism, the nation of Valgusland supports Morella in this journey. What the fuck a fat deal with her? Can't she see that he's using her? Are you sure that you can't get her into the CSP? Nicole said he was using who, that's true. Nicole sat down, Nines, motion for Prime Minister Sultana to continue. I thank you. I thank all of you for your attention today, and look forward to forging a brighter future for the people of South Nakoba. All of them. So I turn to me as Merlin Prime Minister wrapped up her speech and returned to her seat. Seems to me the trade zone is going to be more of a sticking point than I thought. <sighs> I just hope she doesn't expect me to deal with the ready on her behalf. Speaking of which, oh God. <laughs> The supreme wise man stepped onto the stage, dressed in ceremonial robe with silver trim. Before speaking, he waved his hands in the air six times, representing the six heroes of Galcantism. Surprised he flew out here. 
Thoria is a supreme wise man normally refrains from speaking in public. Too busy paying in a cave? I know very little about his activities in Doria, to be honest. His compound is shrouded in secrecy. Supreme wise man spoke in a deep baritone. To your great and powerful leaders of South Makopa, in the name of the Prophet Rurik, I salute you all. I am humble enough to know that we men alone cannot decide the fate of the continent. Not without God's guidance. And it is God who has guided me here today. We are one of the few nations brave enough to let themselves be ruled by his law, but we are also a country like any other. Yet our attempts to find common ground with our neighbors every rebuff, over and over, solely on account of our beliefs. Hmm. I looked over to where almost Sultana was sitting, just so openly scowling. The PM of Morella accuses us of violating your borders, yet she was not so long ago that we were one country. Because of arbitrary lines that have been drawn, my people can no longer visit the graves of their ancestors or the shrines where they once worshipped. Every single one of us. Deridan, Morella, Wizia, Wailing, we all have different views, and we're all united by the dying path of St. Rorik. It is my humble opinion that we Deridians be able to follow the path as we have for centuries. Hmm, sounds reasonable enough. During the part war, Deridians take part in violent insurgencies. Let's go with some oversimplification. Hmm, he's reading the part where they take part in violent insurgencies. Yes, he's far from the servant of peace, he makes himself out to be. On that note, concerns have been ri raised by the missile tests in my country being conducting. <laughs> yeah, maybe not the nicest guy in the day around. Our aim is only meant to protect our people in the way of life. It is God's will that we use the technology not for evil, but to contribute for global security and stability. She started laughing. God wants missiles? That's priceless. That isn't funny. That's scary. Shush her. He's right, you know. Humans made these weapons, but only God can guide us to use them the right way. Shush her. Excuse me, I thought this meeting of nations, not a sermon. As Maul put his hands on the sodium. How far have we fallen? That the only country in South Bacopa where the pillars of nudity still stand to all treaties a laughing stock. You all speak of superpowers, but I know there's only one superpower we need to worry about. He pointed upwards. The sooner our nations come together under him, the sooner true peace and prosperity can be realized. He made a pillar sign as he said at the stage. I will... Well, I'm, not, I'm certainly not making friends with uh, Morella and the uh, Amal Sultana, so I will... Um... Yes. And I'm a religious guy as well. Anyway, so... Like the small act. He signed some of this electrical, theatrical shushing motion, then continued. Dear fellow leaders, I wish I could say this say I was happy to he be here, standing as one of the six proud nations of South Marcopa. And yet I feel only sorrow. Sorrow that a magnificent region has been left to torn itself apart from forces greater than ourselves. I speak, of course, Arcasia and Rumberg. Conveniently leaving out later to Cortana. He isn't wrong. Our countries could all be allies. That's not true. But anyway, or it, yes, it doesn't uh, doesn't count to the superpowers. His patron, convinced of the idea that is that might remain right, they sow discord among us to all strengthen themselves. And Waylon, poor war torn Waylon, must pay the highest price. Who among you can deny Atio's involvement in the civil Wayland civil war, or Rumberg shipping of arms to the bluish separatist movement? Nobody in the hall said a word. Atio looked at me directly. It's my everlasting regret that when Waylon was at his weakest. A direct neighbor opted for an alliance with a nation that sought to harm us at every turn. I never blame the kingdom of Rizia for its decision, but neither can I renew for the last 20 years. Rumberg has maintained his presence in both the North and South. In light of that, Rizia and government's failure to announce the perpetrators of the Zeal bombing, they oh, come on. It shows me greatly. Some things have already been named and extradited, but is it attacked at the Doros off a track? Rumberg is indeed such subterfuge. When does it stop such a violence from reoccurring? What will happen to the Wizzax who made Zeal their home once Rizia and by proxy Rumberg regains control of the region? I have many respects to rule of law, yet I cannot put my people, my country, my, my country people, at risk by abandoning the territory while these questions still hang in the air. Son of a bitch. That's why I decided to invoke AN threat mediation protocol. Yes, of course. Delay the return of Zeal until the fiscal neutralize. Yes, the murmurs just rippled throughout the assembly. I felt many pairs of eyes on me. Stay silent for now. It's unprecedented, Your Majesty. No one has ever invoked the protocol since the signing of the AN Charter nearly a century ago. Rumors in the room were growing louder. President Nines banged on the gravel for silence. If I may continue. 
It is not my intention to keep custody of Zeal in region forever. Assuming that safety and security reserve restored, the Sumer will begin preparation for an orderly transition. I for a swift cooperation from His Majesty King Ramus and my fellow South Macropa nations. Together, we are strong. He raised his hand in expectation of applause, and none came. None of our neighbors is openly taking away the side. It's most wells for us. Victor shook his head and left the stage. Applaud him politely? Why don't I applaud him? What do I do? Yes. I'll get in touch with Wayland's foreign ministers as soon as we're back home. There may be a way of straightening things out. I'll see if Prime Minister Alvarez has any words on the subject. Prime Minister Alvarez was next. He straightened his tie as he pushed the microphone. Here it comes. Mr. President, I need to start by voicing my unwavering support for this fine organization the world plays. We're not for the United of nations. There'll be no way to stop our country's petty quarrels from devouring the world. Very true. Which, ladies and gentlemen, is protected, which in danger of happening today. The nation of Lesbia is involved in gas dispute between Palas and Rizia with some concern. We know that from the past, the arguments over resources can easily, easily spiral into violence. Before arbitration concludes, we like to beseech both nations to respect the results, whatever they may be. And we beg AN to undergo a thorough review of the evidence before submitting their decision. For our part, it is clear that due to the small size and limited hab hab habitability of the Rizian island of Kalak. Kibis, Grand Duchy of Pales has a greater claim to the field than the Kingdom of Rizia. Should I say something? I don't see the point, but if you'd like. Malarkey! Oh! Everyone turned to Valky and They're gonna destroy each other. <sighs> yes, I'll let them do my evil bidding. Let the communists do my evil bidding. Forget my old-time cough. I have a terrible cough today. <laughs> I'm not gonna say anything at all. I said nothing. Hey, maybe he didn't look and sat down in his chair. Um, I need another point I was going to make today. I speak today of the security to nationalize the... <laughs> what? The international trade zone. And oh my gosh, they're going to destroy each other. Let us not for the one second believe that Morella is acting in an accord. In the long run, the Contonin security pact is behind this. By giving the Prime Minister Ministers a Sultana's demands, the leash of Lesbia and Rizzi will be effectively paying to increase United Cortana's sphere's influence. I know I'm not alone in wanting to avoid these disastrous consequences. He looked at the Palestinian delegation, Reinhardt and the ministers politely applauded. I remind Morella and Vagos Land that the Alliance of Nations is watching, as is the ATO. Any attempt to seize the international trade zone by unlawful means will be met with retaliation. That will be all. Nothing about Whalen? It's not unless we have an interest to take side and seal for now. Fleet Palace is the next. Ah, Duke Reinhardt. Can see stubble on his chin and dark circles on his eyes. Wow, he looks like shit. His first day in and dressed, I'm sure he's quite experienced. Duke Reinhardt cleared his throat and shuffled a few papers around. Ahem. As the leader of the youngest nation in southern Rakopa, I am humbled to be in the Greek Hall. I'm fully aware that everyone else in the room has spent their lives preparing to be in power, whereas me, I just say calling me a dilettante would be generous. I heard laughter from around the hall. He's joking, but it's true. I wonder what he's getting at. Which, because I'm inexperienced, doesn't mean, mean I am naive. The King of Rizzi has taken claim to a gas field that lies in Palazine waters. It has received to let it go in the claim, in spite of all the Pals' contrary for us. On multiple occasions, King R Majesty Ramus has indicated that he considers Rizzi as a loss of Pals to be unfinished business. How would you even know? This incident, Waylon has proven to links with this new dangerous monarch will go. In the context, it is vital that my emerging nation assert its sovereignty. The North Lines of Nations Arbitration Committee will seize through the Kingdom's poorly justified infringement on our maritime borders. We fight our other colleagues to this esteemed organization to engage with us as equals irrespective of the way our neighbors treated us. Alvarez rose to our seat. Well said, Your Grace. Pull those strings, Alvarez. Should I speak? Hmm. I don't think I'm going to do that. Because I'm going to have my day in the sun, or my time in the sun. I'm going to be able to speak about this soon. Or I can say, pull those strings. Let's just keep the course and stay silent. Would you, Majesty? Don't play the aggressor. Exactly. Do you keep counting down low? I'm going to have my moment to speak. Are you sure that we will resist further attempts to police the division? Furthermore, criminal! Yes, let them destroy each other. The grinder looks shifted with the interjection. That doesn't sound like a cough, Chancellor. <laughs> no, no, I cannot stay silent while you made your entitled demands. 
Your family used pilots as the base to pillage seen in conf continents. Everything you had, you stole it from someone else. And rather you then gave it back to the revolution, the revolution forced your hand, you begged the capitalist swine of Lesbia to help you with to hold on to your ill-gotten gains. I, I beg your pardon, Chair Chancellor Helgo, but I'm not responsible for my family's sins. But you're happy to profit from that, aren't you? Up there in your glass castle. I'll see you, Duke Reinhardt. Those quacks are beating the show. Damn, Duke Reinhardt just got hailed. <laughs> So it appears, Your Majesty. President Nines, or Nines, whatever, this man is abusing his guest privileges. Can you be removed? After a short back and forth, President Nines issued the Chancellor a stern warning. He glared at him from the seat and the Duke Reinhardt finished his speech. I, uh, tapped his mic nervously. I see the Chancellor is still resentful of the people of the palace choose firm leadership for the Reinhardt family over the Chinese of the Revolution. Yes, the Grand Duchy aided the colonial names of the Valgos Empire. But like Valgos Land, we are ready to put that past behind us and look towards the future. We simply have a different vision. Palace may not yet have truly earned its spot in the assembly, but it is my hope that it will. His voice had regained its full confidence now. Any nation that attempts to stop us from doing so will meant a strong and resolute response. He rushed back to his seat as a chatter erupted from the rest of the assembly. It's certainly been an eventful session, Your Majesty. I hope you're ready for your speech. I'm ready as I'll ever be. Took a deep breath. And to give me a quick smile, he urged me as I left from my seat. I stepped to the podium with a smattering applause. The delegation from Wayland and Palas stayed pointedly, si pointedly silent. Here it comes. <coughs> Most suspected leaders of South Macopa. My monarchical, monarchical forebearers have still me great respect for its, this institution and its values. We've heard enough today about how important the United Nation is, so we'll get straight to the point. No. I should butter the playing up. As you've seen over and over again through history, our nations can accomplish much more together than we can apart. The ends of and commitment to peace and justice in times of tension through inspiration, the ends swift and interference that swapped many would be evildoer in the tracks. Our nations can accomplish much more together than we can apart. But such bonds do not always form organically, sometimes they must be fostered, other times forced. Which is why I'm so saddened by the division plaguing South Marcopa, which is why I'm appealing you to, to all of you today, a lesson from which all of you have apparently forgotten. Hmm. Now I could chastise them, because that's probably what that would lead to. The bottom one there. Which is why I'm appealing I am appealing to you all of you today. And that's where we make our play. I think we're gonna do that. We're gonna make a play for a 50-50 split. I'm worried the comments made by President Wicht are small accident to demand a response from me. Can I go to Prince Hager and his newfound interest in our neighbor? Okay, that didn't give me any of the things that I wanted. I'm worried the comments made by President Wicht are small act earlier in the session to demand a response from me. I hope all of you see Wayland's failure to reserve zeal for what it is a flagrant violation of international law, the aim threat mitigation protocol for the really fast, both under extreme circumstances. In my opinion, the zeal incident is not one of them. Its location of the AM protocol is completely understandable. Transgender zeal cannot happen until the security is regained in the region, however. I don't believe this is an appropriate form of President Whalen to expand on his security concerns in a private dialogue with me. So we can go take the hard route, or we can expand on his security concerns. I think I'll be able to choke him out with Rumberg. So let's ask for a private dialogue. Quote from the CD, you place an impression on his face. Prior to the Civil War, Rizia and Waylon were close with allies. If we can return to that relationship, Rizia and Waylon may never be allies we once were, but I'm holding out hope for a peaceful coexistence. Waylon has been unfairly maligned since the events of the Civil War. After all, we feel zero. We should help restore. We, sh we shall help it regain its international prominence. I believe we can return to that relationship. Uh, moving on. Can I unroll the presence of Chancellor Hegel and his newfound interest in our neighbor? So Hegel leaned forward and seat intently. I'm not sure where Merlo's worldview, yet I believe our citizens struggle are one and the same. No? Given the exploitation happening in Morella, I am not surprised to hear that Dr. Saldana has asked for the sleep ease of assistance. Rizzi Morella have remained good relations for centuries. It pains me that noble sovereignty has fallen victim to Valgus Land's influence. The fact of encroaching socialism does not scare me as much as the potential loss of our precious resources. 
Rome is free to choose his own political direction, but I cannot use those politics to wantonly lay waste to its neighbor's economy. A trade zone was established with a full agreement to all four countries. If all the only with their agreement can it be altered if Prime Minister Sultan is not free to return to the institution, all she needs to do is tell us. Uh, don't don't destroy my economy, buddy. She folded her arms with expressions, don't he? Um, I'm not alone in my concerns. I use this form to warn her. If I was you will give her one, if I must be honest, it makes me diff sense for Pakistan to speak of their involvement is not the shared direct border with Morella. I look forward to discussing this further with the next ITZ board meeting. I don't want to call in Alvarez. I don't want to call on Alvarez. Because we have an issue with him already with other stuff. Talk with her at the next board meeting. Yeah, he'll he'll do his own nonsense. I also wish more to reconsider the stance of Dirty and Golcontas pilgrims. Having said that, I do stand with Morella against the Dirty experience, confused the extremists. Some of the compromise can be reached regarding Dirty as village travelers. After all, their allergy is no more dangerous than Mal Malvinianism. The vision of the former Empire of Moridia has a pitted brother against brother. The violence must end. Their right to sacred church should not be ignored, but neither should uh, methods of employed in the past. Um, we, we ban that, so it would be kind of ridiculous for me to harp on about that, so the, the violence must end. The applause came from around the assembly hall. Final word regarding pilots. Now let's see, here's, here's the most important part. It's my great dismay that my kingdom has been forced to quarrel with our new closest neighbor. Duke Reinhardt said he wants the other nation to gain a palace as equal, but exactly what Rizzi is doing. By the Duke's claims, Rizzi not an aggressor in the situation. This guy speed nothing but in a fight for self purpose, right for self determination. Fight for the Duke's claims, Rizzi is not an aggressor in the situation. Now, that might work generally, but self-determination, I believe we can get Valgus land in this if we hit the capitalists hard. Let's try it. He sent the drill ship into our territory. Our sponsor should not come as a surprise. You cannot paint us as a bully when you are back with Lesbia, then thus the full strength of the ATO. If we wanted to intimidate Palace into giving him patrolling out, I ask people would have done so. My kingdom is not even asking for ownership of the entire territory, only our rightful half. Let's try it. I'm convinced that any peaceful compromise may reach with the ANS helps. My hope the ANS arbitration committee ignores my the emotional statements that have been made today and focus on the facts. Yes, please. Let's not forget the gas fields would not have been discovered without our sciences initiative. As a signee of the AN director director of offshore resources, we have right to undersea gas within 200 kilometers of our coast, no matter which, co which coast. Residence maintains the ancient sovereignty of palaces. Our intelligence services have been concrete proof of palaces con Cooperation with lesbian executives, their lack of transparency should concern us all. Now, they aren't a signee of the Director of Offshore Resources, so that's legally suspicious. But the lesbian part, maybe we'll be able to, to pound them on. In light of that, we cannot promise we'll be by by the AN's arbitration results. Of course, we will respect the arbitration committee. We are counting the arbitration. Arbitrators to make the right decision here. And so Hegel is inspired by Christian shape with lesbian and Palestinian declarations today. If Rizia does gain control of this valuable resource, I will promise that all myself Macropa will benefit. Do not rush your king, Mr. President. I will conclude you with these words, or I won't bore you for much longer. Business Molek was wrong, it was not the superpowers who were turning parts, we were doing it ourselves. For far too long, we let superpowers wield their influence over us. Time has changed, I've worried Rizzi stands alone as a kingdom in the sea republics. For too long, we have let superpowers wield their influence over us. But in the end, we are all single humans under a single god, but our proud nation wants to come to foreign pressure. But I will hold out hope that we will find a way back to each other. Rizzi and our partners of the grace are prepared to demonstrate that monarchy still has a significance in the modern world. But I hold out hope that we may find a way back to each other. The king has spoken. It was like, Rizia, I'll just say thank you. And he handed me some water. Well done, your majesty. 
It'll take a while to digest the ramifications. Let's update all, all this once we're back in Rizia. I don't think it was as good as it could have been. I think I could have I made a couple mistakes, I think, here or there. I think I could have hammered it harder. I think I could have gotten better. Better result. Andorinius procedure. So that leans for an equitable solution, so hopefully that's it. Maybe for that one, I maybe instead of Lesbia, I should have I should have maybe used that. Anyway, we'll have to see. Neutral death nurse community. Okay, so they're feeling a little bit better about us. Mining surveys. She explores the kingdom's hidden geological wealth. Nice. Very good. Almost a red wine event launch. Or in public transportation inefficiency crisis. Oh, jeez. Uh, the public transportation system is grappling with an efficiency crisis trained by budgeting demands, urging demands, and passenger numbers. Urgent action, increased funding and modernization. The network is our backbone. Let's see, Lesbia. Neutral. Hmm. Vital rail link fails. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. Okay, five. Let's see. William announces announcement throws zeal into confusion. Significant reduction of our Kassian military presence in war torn meetings, regions, canal emerges as strategic ATO hub. A.N. Shocker, Whaling refuses to relinquish seal. Lagazi and Chancellor interrupts A.N. session, and that's it. So we didn't make too much of an impression, basically, is what seems to have happened here. Now, is there any sort of rail or transportation or anything like that? Tax credits, budget return, minus two. Oof, no thank you. Welfare, trade, maybe? No. <laughs> Very well. You have no choice but to train more soldiers. Next turn, we'll get our gas field expansion. Ramus the Red Wine Launch Event. Oh boy, in the fertile keels of Qualis, the Costa Nuvu wine vineyards were among the oldest of Rizia. They were run by a revealed winemaking family, now in their fifth generation, with long been awarded the noble status for their fine wines and pride of the region. The night we rented to my family for the 30th vintage Romans the Red, bottled on my coronation day, who is now ready for drinking. Which was a more celebratory mood. When his announcement is at the end, it plunged the country into panic. I was besieged by demands to get to get actually get Zeal back. And if there weren't enough tensions with the pilots, were higher than ever. We we're still awaiting the arbitration results. The gas tankers were veering off from, from there to fulfill our natural gas exports every single day. But now all I had to do was open up a wine bottle. And even that was politicized. He would stress the importance of keeping the Contuvo family loyal to our house. The motorcade rolled up the venue decorates where a festival tent decorated the blue, white, and gold of the Brazilian flag had been opened up, had been set up. After a thorough security sweep, my mother Estelle, Estella, Vina, Hugo, and I proceeded to our table. Pavel smoothly approached and poured his glasses of sparkling water. I had the pleasure of supervising the pre-testing with the venue staff. I must say the family has truly outdone themselves this time. How splendid. I don't think they think you'll love it. It's the land of the palate of us, but it has hidden depths. That was perfect, Mr. Adria. Please stick to conservative force for his majesty, so I'm becoming a king to get intoxicated at these functions. All three of our people are dressed in festively, more festively than formal than Fimple's formal wear. They would have had some meetings, but Lucy's slinky, intricate, peaky little gown was particularly eye catching. Hmm. My mother turned to me and muttered under her breath, Oh my, the mountains of Monte Clara are full of tonight. And how? Vino rolled her eyes in disgust. You don't understand what you're doing here, especially with all that's been going on. Politics, your highness. In our case, foreign situation escalates will require support from House Torres. 
in our home province more than ever. I was unhappy with your dealings with Swordland. He has a point. President Spoonlock and I haven't exchanged a word since Zeal. Should I make my priority to talk to him? So he makes make attending the functions as usual as the royal family. We've got to keep the spirit of Rizia to uphold. So he set up the meeting very well with President Schmolak. The intended use being filing in. It was a small wheat crack advised the barons, baronesses, viscounts, CEOs from around the region. He bowed as they passed my table, but some of their smiles seemed ungenuine. I thought I had heard something with a sword lover. Still a wish flashed me over. Of warning. There's no pleasing these people, darling. Better to ignore them. After everyone settled in, the head of the winery gave a short opening greeting and then welcomed me onto the stage. I stepped behind the microphone. A magnum sized bottle of Ramus the Red stood on the table behind me. Ladies and gentlemen, my esteemed fellow nobles, great citizens of Valencrete, we've gathered here to save the fruits of our land, of this land, our land. I'm honored to lend my name to the most exceptional creation produced by the best wine makers of the country. No, the world. Yes, I like that. The wines of this vineyard have always delighted our palates in times of joy and contenders in times of sorrow. This wine will only grow better over time, just like the reign of the king that is named after us obnoxious. This wine will inspire reverence for the venerable house Torres and the nation of Rizia and anyone who this touches. Yes, even swords. I heard a few chuckles. I listen to my people. I know some of you have doubts in the kingdom's stability. I am heartened to see so many of you come here to celebrate tonight, especially the wake of recent events. As there are those who seek to weaken our ancient monarchy to claim our riches for their own. Now let's go with the, uh... I'm happy so many of you come... Important to see so, so many of you come here... Come here to celebrate tonight. Changes coming to Rizia. Now more than ever, we must defend our traditions away in life. I'm confident that with your help, Rizia will become stronger than ever. I'm an instrument of God's will. But I know the Lord has great plans for Rizia. The most privileged province in Rizia, Valencris, have his duty to lead the way forward. I must forget that Valencris is not an island. I am a proud son of Valencris, and I assure you that my home province will always come first for me. He chose my family to guide this country, and I will not let him let him mow you down. If you should not be scared to look outwards, you shouldn't be hesitant to look to our fellow royal houses for support. We cannot ignore the plight of those less fortunate than us. Nothing matters more than meaning and continued loyalty. Have faith in your king and the house to and you will be great richly rewarded. By the time next year, we'll be raising a glass of Ramas the Red to United Rizia. Remy's blood will flow with red of this wine, and the revenge will taste as sweet. A time when we may make sacrifices, but we will be able to take back our rightful territory. Oh, let's not promise anything too crazy. You've got to relieve look on his face. But you're not here to listen to me. You're here to drink wine. For now, we will bear witness to the miracles of the Quantavo family have worked into their humble grape. I choose a representative of the winery, handing me a ceremonial cloak screen glass. I did. Invite Princess Vina to do honest. Hugo Torres, a true man of Van Crease, for open the bottle of my steed. If you mean Sir of Unity, Duchess Lucida of House of Zara, will uncork the first bottle. In a stunned yet delighted expression, she, Cheetah took the stage and an assistant quickly procured two glasses. My war counselor opened the bottle and poured us each a small amount. A prosso. Drink. We cleaned glasses and drank. It was delicious, a light, refreshing, refreshing taste, gradually developed into a darker, more complex finish. As a final round of applause, and Luchita and I stepped off stage. Powell and the winery staff began circulating around the tables with wine and food. It is an honor to be called on stage, Your Majesty, although I'm sure your relations weren't happy with your choice. Your strategic mood in your house is fair more than mine. That was what they think I wanted you up there with me. It'll be fine. I had them eating out of the hand for the rest of the night. Why don't you up there with me, my darling? Her eyes widened slightly as she registered my remarks. I see you, Majesty. I hope I perform your satisfaction. She cast a look, one last look at me before returning to her seat. I spent a good several hours mingling with relatives and fellow nobles, posing for photographs, the winemakers, and fending off journalists. Every time I attempted to sit down and eat, I was deluded. Deluged with more requests, my glass, on the other hand, was constantly being refilled. By the end of the evening, I was having some trouble keeping names and faces straight. The tent gradually emptied out as the guests departed. The winery we detached, luxury villa where our delegation had been invited to stay for the night, Hugo, Estella, and Vina, and I began saying our final goodbyes before making our way upstairs. I'm glad you managed to find time to come to Qualus, Your Majesty. I would call the evening a smashing success, with the emphasis on smashing. He was clutching my mother's arms, looking half-dazed. Gone, Mr. Red, long may he reign, she hiccuped. That's right, darling, now let's get you to bed. 
concluded Aquarius burst her laugh from the other side of the room. My two counselors were still at the table. Lucidia's eyes were sparkly as she regaled the other two with an apparently hilarious anecdote. We'll be right behind you. Just have to say goodnight to my staff. Take your time, sweetheart. She made a knowing smile. Vina was too busy attempting a pirouette and her ball can to register what I had said. As my family headed out, I walked over to my counselor's table. He just stood over the barrister out of stitch, stitch on screaming. If you weren't the Duchess, I'd have you drawn and quartered. Who did? Oh. She went to Elena, immediately straightened up and stopped laughing. The Majesty of the Duchess was telling us about the time she hid her commanding officer's fatigues while he was swimming. Oh, well. There's a dear back in basic training. I had to scrub the kitchen floor for three weeks, but it was rather. What a drinking game, Your Majesty. Rather infantile one. Oh, well. Can I play? Sounds like a bad idea. I think you can handle it. She's teasing look in her eyes. I wonder how she'd had drink. Pabble, some wine for the king, please. Right away, Mr. Escobedo. Pabble approached the table and gave you a generous pour of Ramos the Red. Why don't you play too? I take the cautious excitement in his eyes. It'd be my pleasure, Your Majesty. He sat down and she rubbed her hands together. Perfect, Pabble. I think I'd like to learn more about you. Now, have you ever played facts or fiction before? I have not. It's simple. Tell us three statements about yourself. Two of them will be true and one must be a lie. Each of them each then guesses the statement is false. If we guess wrong, we have to drink. She guesses a pebble who quickly topped up her wine glass. It's my turn. I'll let the Majesty choose the next player. Uh, let's go with Pabble. My brother Grace gave a graceful nod. Certainly, Your Majesty. Pause to think. If that she wants to have me read a patch of steam nettles for the beam little that I know I rather enjoyed the sensation. Heard once heard of a Burgian royal valet make a brimming contact with Queen Mother Stella during her diplomatic like, visit. I persuaded our chief chef to put an excessive amount of pepper in his food at the staff dinner staff staff dinner. Looked down the table. The twenties wrote a poem that was selected for the annual Rizian literary compendium, suited honestly, of course. He laughed, laughed lightly. There is the falsehood. Running a royal household doesn't leave one with time for poetry. The butler's wine description is a version of poetry at times. I prefer to believe he doesn't take first pleasures in stinging nettles. And I'd rather not believe the story about the Robergian valet, as hilarious as it might have been. You don't like stinging nettles, Pabble. Pabble smiled grimly. Correct, that was the worst pain I've ever felt in my life. <laughs> Served you right, your mean or odd look earlier in the day. Played a dangerous game with Robert. What if he found out about told you about Beatrice? Wait, what about the poem? That's a good question. Not much to know, Your Majesty, as many years ago. She cleared her throat. I think we're forgetting something. Into a rento and the two clink, clink glasses and drank. My former counselor had a contemplative look as he put his glass down. I read the companion regularly. What was your pseudonym? It is important. Wait, let me guess. Paula there from 1912. How did he? Okay. He just knows. I envy the flowers I'm back in this place. They're not have their nature, nor the fear of the light of the day. Their fragrance in their open heart fills the air with dreams. Scent of possibilities or so it truly seems. Oh my god, how long is this? That's a beautiful. I had no idea. Thank you, Your Majesty. Sounds like they're on the table. You see, this spoke up. Barb brightly shall we continue miss warner am i the people want to get drunk they got your drunk. what if you insist i have antique coin collections worth moving my house my late husband and i once took a three-week sailing trip to the gum in the back and once i had to stop queen lizia from purchasing a dianetics with the wizian treasure in my <laughs> my grandmother would never try to embezzle from the treasury Too easy. This one you hated more sailing and being your duly departed husband in the side. Yes, that's right. Oh well, there you go. I have to drink. You have a fortune of antique coins. Oh, so my grandmother wasn't a saint after all, huh? Your feathers towards the end of her life. I think her mind was going. Well done, Ms. Warner. Who was next? Mr. Esquibille. Esquibble? I have no clue. The pressure? He gave his wine glass a dramatic swirl. 
What am I going to look at meeting? I had no way for you. I'll draw characters instead of caricatures instead of taking notes. When I was out of university, I challenged the mayor of Sabaez to a duel. I accidentally shouted, I'll hail the new queen as a good badge for the heroes. What a nation. You wouldn't have instigated a duel except unless it was for a woman. I would have shouted if anyone heard queen. It's more possible that the counselor admitted the king and in failing taking notes to a meeting. The duel scenario seems the most far fetched to me. Read the duel story a hundred times, Lorento. You can challenge the mayor. So, but this is the Earl of Jalas. I have to give you an abashed look. You know me too well, Ms. Werner. Shh, Nikes. Well, what was the duel about? I see. Nobody had the nerve to do it. As you wish, Your Majesty. Despite my desire, here you should put on the side of blood. Stand the side of blood as a child. There was a time when I fainted and pricked my own finger. My cousin Zola confided in me that she's despised the husband of these, so I falsified evidence that he was hiding a fear with the common and the engagement was broken off at once. Oh my god. I have a lucky set of undergarments that I like to board meetings and exercises. I don't believe the story about your cousin. Once you can believe that, then the idea of Lucida Arzaro or fainting at the sight of blood. No, the blood story is too impossible, plausible that it must be true. I have my doubts about your role in the disillusion of your cousin's engagement. Tina shook her head. She's asking me who's white. I don't don't wear lucky underwear. Damn. Actually, on such occasions, I find it evaporated where nothing. <sighs> okay. Perhaps now would be a good time for just Arzaro to retire and there's been a great deal of wine flowing tonight. It's all harmless fun, Pablo, Your Majesty. How they becoming a duchess just probably reminds me to call on board means more often than she will kill some previous to provide in royal life. Pablo frowned. My apologies to you both. I was only trying to be helpful. If you'd like to be helpful, you can fetch this new bottle. This one's almost empty. Push me away. Um. I'll go ready for bed. She frowned, but you haven't taken a turn yet, Your Majesty. Make you happy, I'll give it a try. I have a bullet wound in the back of my leg. Okay, that's the exact shape of the Pale's administrative district. Back when the party prince got so intoxicated, and mistook a princess, priceless Markavian vase for a urinal. Great grandfather, King Zavi II, never had a mustache. He drew one of his royal portrait a long time ago. First thing that comes to mind, as a faithful my wife, feel some goddamn lonely all the time. I have nightmares that'll turn out to be a failure like my father. I wish we were to go to war just so I can prove myself. <laughs> oh, these are none of these are good. I feel so goddamn lonely all the time, okay? So, no lies. Go cautiously, smoke up. Of course, you're not lonely with your family in the palace, Your Majesty. That was a lie. I was quickly nodded their scent. I could see Lucita, Lucita scrutinizing me closely. No, that was the truth. So was the lie, Your Majesty. Life, thought you, Cesaro. Life is a lie. Pillow cleared his throat. You managed. You have a long day ahead tomorrow. Why don't you? Why don't we adjourn? No, you can't kill this party. The party prince commands you. Lento uneasily pushed back his chair. Forgive me, this elder statement's going to call it evening. Thank you for enlightening time. <laughs> uh, we all learned a great deal, possibly too much. Yeah, you really kill the vibe when you start talking about how life is a lie. More intimately knowing each other, the better we can fight as a team. It's an old army trick. Will they escort you to the quarters? Yes. My counselor and I said goodbye and they dispersed. I became acutely aware of how much wine I drank. Pavel helped me up steady, so we made our way up to my suite. Swiftly ushered me inside and took off my coat. Well, those quarters here are connected by an adjoining door. You should knock if you need me. Pablo walked over the side of the room. He paused with one hand on the door. I'll hope you enjoyed your evening, Majesty. I think you know what it was about. Your poem. He froze. You do? Please exercise more discretion. Going forward, I can't get, have a word get out of my butt. It was a pervert. <laughs> the secret you may be harboring is safe with me. 
I've often felt similar to myself, hiding the shadows while others bloom. You are the king, your majesty, and you do not fear the sun. I'll see you in the morning. He left the room and gently closed the door behind him. With some difficulty, I undressed and crawled into bed. I started to drift off to sleep when a soft knock came at the door. Answer it. Oh, she's in the same beady gown as she was before. Majesty, I just received a message greeting points of the whale intelligence may come in. Of course. She walked in, I followed her close to the door. As soon as shut, she stepped toward me with a lack of urgency, look of urgency in her eyes. Uh, okay. You're drunk. Give me a scornful look. I've been drinking men on the table since the 18th. He's more than a little wine. What wine did you mean? Anything I'm taking advantage of you. Eh, fine. Kiss her. I leaned down and kissed her, and she grabbed me by a super levels and returned the kiss for ferocity. Oh, yeah. Interactive. <laughs> Erotic affliction, oh, great. <laughs> On Twitch. Why don't you rip that gown off? Of oh boy. Um, we went to, yeah, let's go with that one. Great. Great, 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 great. <laughs> that was uncomfortable. Violent protests in the Brennus region. Son of a gun. Watch gathering is zeal prohibited. Public of sword land, huh? What now? Investment opportunity. What are the news saying? Rufus Gregg's royal gossip, King's Duchess's pop the cork. Let's see supports Palace and arbitration campaign. One Bergen down his railing of a zeal campaign claim. Oil embargo continues. Whole talks and whole story to discuss the opportunity for the investment opportunity very well. Don't see why not. And we will hold that off. Seeing the continent positions as anti CSP front. Interesting. We'll hold that off till next time. <laughs>